Hello, I'm David, and welcome to Under the Yurt Sports. Today we're going to be talking a little blues hockey, but before we do, please remember to hit the subscription button for our YouTube channel and check out our Facebook and Instagram pages. Now, to get into the nitty-gritty, uh, blues hockey season is coming down to an end. There's only about 13 games left in the season. Uh, this weekend is a big weekend against the Colorado Avalanche. The Blues play Saturday and then Monday against the Avs. From there, they move on to play the Minnesota Wild. So uh, the Avalanche are second place in the division. The Wild are third place in the division. Right now, the Blues are fifth place in the division. With that loss last weekend against the Arizona Coyotes, uh, the Blues dropped to number five in the division with 44 points, and the Coyotes have 45 uh, again, third place, the Wild are at 61. Uh, honestly, it's a good chance for the Blues not only to gauge where they are and where they need to be for the playoffs, but if they can steal some of these games, they have a chance at solidifying their spot as a number four playoff team. Uh, the biggest issue right now is between the Coyotes, Blues, and Sharks. Uh, the Sharks are right behind the Blues in the standings. None of these three teams seem to want to take the fourth stop, uh, spot. The Coyotes are on a two-game losing streak. The Blues on a two-game losing streak. And the Sharks are on a seven-game losing streak. So really, the one who just honestly reaches out and grabs for it is probably going to be the one who ends up taking the fourth spot in the game, uh, in the playoffs. Hopefully, that's the Blues, but we'll have to watch and see. Again, they have a couple tough series against the Avalanche and Wild. Then they play the Ducks, and they go on to the Golden Knights. So their schedule is not the easiest path. But if they go 500 or even better, they probably have a good shot at taking the fourth spot. However, in order to do that, they can't do what they've been doing the last couple of games. They need to play three solid periods of hockey. Uh, The biggest letdown I've seen lately is they seem to be taking their foot off the gas in the second period. And if you recall, that's the period where you have the long change, the benches on the other side of the ice. For whatever reason, the Blues have been struggling in the second period, and they need to figure out what's going on and get over it real quick if they want a shot in the playoffs. Um, I think another key in order to making the playoffs is you have to get more out of your top guys, especially like Tarasenko and your top line. They're just not producing that much, especially offensively. If you want to make it into the playoffs, those guys need to start putting pucks in the net. The other thing I would say is defensively, they need to have a strong front, and then they need to uh, have Bennington possibly steal a game or two. And I think if he's able to steal a game for two, that might be able to build their confidence and allow the Blues to go on maybe a little small winning streak. If they do that again, they'll probably take the fourth spot. All they need to do, in my opinion, like I said, is win about half their games at this point. And I think they'll have the fourth spot. Um, they are, they do have three games ahead of the Sharks and three, uh, four games uh, in hand over the Coyotes. So the Blues have a shot to pick up some points where the Coyotes and Sharks can't because of just games played. Uh, if they are able to overcome some of their difficult schedule, win some of those games, I think they could easily hold on to that fourth spot and then from there gauge what their playoff shots are. Um, they're definitely going to have to turn up the attendance, uh, intensity. Uh, more than likely, they're going to end up playing the Golden Knights in the first round. And while the Blues have played them close all year for the most part, they're going to have to really turn it up if they want to win that series. Uh, I think it's a good stretch to really test to see how far this team might have a shot at going in the playoffs. If they fall flat on their face, then that's that. If they win most of their games, then we might have something cooking and it might really have, we might really have ourselves an exciting playoff season. Either way, we're going to have to sit back, watch the show, see what's going on. One game at a time is what I'd say. And if they win one, go for two. And the old saying in the Major League show, 
if you win one, great. If you win two, now you have something cooking. If you get three in a row, that's called a winning streak. And it has happened before. I'd love to see it happen with the Blues. But until then, we'll be keeping you up to date with what's going on. Anyway, this is David from Under the Earth Sports. Thank you for watching and have a good night.